explosive new allegations of government targeting of conservatives tonight. One conservative group repeatedly targeted by the government before the whole scandal broke claimed that government agencies must have been coordinating their efforts, including, possibly, the Democrats on the House Oversight Committee coordinating with the IRS. Here is the lawyer for this conservative group called True the Vote raising this possibility at a hearing in 2014, February. We want to get to the bottom of how these coincidences happened. And we're going to try to figure out whether, any, whether there was any staff of this committee that might have been involved in uh, putting True the Vote on the radar screen of some of these federal agencies. The gentleman yield. Uh, yes. I want to thank the gentleman for his courtesy. What she just said is absolutely incorrect and not true. All right. Now, Catherine Engelbrecht is the founder and president of True the Vote. Catherine, let's walk the viewers through this. So that was your lawyer, Cleta Mitchell, and your group has been targeted repeatedly by several different agencies, the FBI, the ATF, the IRS, you name it. They came down on you as you were applying for tax-exempt status. Your lawyer said to the subcommittee, we, we fear, we suspect there may have been coordination back when they were looking into your group between the IRS right. and, and you, Democrats on this House subcommittee. We, we think you may have been in on it, basically. Elijah Cummings, the ranking Democrat, says that is absolutely untrue. And now, this week, after the Republicans on this committee accused the IRS of withholding emails inappropriately, they produced some. They produced some at the last minute, including one from Lois Lerner. And here it is. It's actually it's from the House Oversight Committee person under Elijah Cummings to Lois Lerner. The, the subject is House Oversight Committee minority staff. And what they say is that the House Oversight Committee has requested any publicly available information on you, on True the Vote. Yes. And that the House Oversight Committee believes this entity has filed tax returns. They want copies of them if they're available publicly. They want any other information that's publicly available and so on. So it's, it's clear that Elijah Cummings Democrats wanted information on you and asked the IRS for it. And yet he appears to be denying that in that subcommittee hearing. Is that... Is that correct? Dad, absolutely. It's, I think I would go beyond he appears to be. He lied. Uh, he impugned me, he impugned the work of my organization, uh, and, and he did so with, the, with such brazenness that I, I think we need to call it what it is. He's lying. So now you've got the House Oversight Committee Democrats coordinating with the IRS. This isn't in the context of investigating what went wrong at the IRS. This isn't Elijah Cummings' group saying, let's figure out what happened to poor Catherine and true the vote. This is while the targeting was <laughs> right. going on. That's right. And so... That's right. And it, this is... Yeah, go ahead. This is the, this is the worst... This is the worst, uh, uh, you know, of your fears confirmed that, in fact, the weaponization of government is in play. We see the coordination between branches of government to single out citizens who are ex exercising their constitutional rights. Nothing more than nothing less than that is, is happening right now. It's, it's outrageous. M Mr. Cummings has initially I expressed dismay at what the IRS did to conservative groups. But, but not long into the investigation, he was quick to dismiss it, including in this soundbite we have from June of 2013 on CNN. Listen. Based upon everything I've seen, the case is solved. And if it were me, uh, I would wrap this case up and move on. He went on to say that he thinks that this is a witch hunt. And, and the question is whether, you know, he, he, he's the one, he had something to hide. Absolutely. He had every reason to want to shut the investigation down before those emails that we now know existed uh, were revealed. And um, he failed in that attempt. And now the truth is beginning to come to light. And, and mind you, Megan, we haven't seen all the emails yet. Uh, I think we are just beginning to recognize the, the tip of a very ugly iceberg. He has said now, present day, that his committee's contact with the IRS was totally appropriate, uh, that they did nothing wrong, and they were only asking for publicly available information on your group. So, you know, how do you take the leap from that? I understand that he seemed to deny it, but putting the denial aside, what he did at the time, asking for publicly available information about your group, what was wrong with that? Well, I mean... Two things jump out at me. First, in just the emails that we've seen, uh, there is, there's an awful lot of, of information that's being hidden by the black bars of redaction that suggest that public information was uh, not the only thing that was shared. Private information was shared because it's now having to be redacted. The other point I would make is, 
if he's so confident that his actions were appropriate, why lie about it? I know you feel that this is basically the weaponization of government and that you're, you say this isn't over, you're not going to be intimidated, you're not going to retreat. What do you mean by that? Well, I mean exactly what I say. Uh, this is what I have been, what I've experienced in the last three years, uh, the, the organization um, of, of the federal government to target me in my efforts. Um, this is something, Megan, that is not just happening to me. It's, it's happening to thousands of people, maybe more than that, across this country. And so with everything that I have, I'm going to continue to point out that these are the times that we really have to do a, a soul check of what we are as a country. Uh, this, this used to be a country where, where citizens were lauded yeah. for being engaged, and now we're targeted. Catherine, thank you for being here. Thanks. I just want to correct myself that that e email we showed was from an IRS official to another IRS official, Lois Lerner, but it clearly spoke of discussions with the House Minority Staff on uh, the Oversight Committee, the, the Democrats.